wonder what they look like, he says. I thought he ordered them. Morning. Our quarter fenders are here, so hop in the skid steer. Go ahead and load those real quick. You missed it. We bought a 2014 Kenworth T680, and it didn't have quarter fenders or half fenders. These are half fenders. We ordered half fenders for it. They came here today, so I'm going to unload them real fast. There's what the quarter fenders are going on. Wonder what they look like, he says. I thought he ordered them. Ooh, shiny. Good morning, folks. I guess we're uh, we're in the fender installing business today, so this should be a this should be a treat. Bet this goes well. I'm already pretty excited about it, to be honest. So BJ, how was the big camping trip? Fantastic. BJ, uh, he became quite the outdoorsman over the weekend, so I guess. I used your truck. Thank you, by the way. Yep. How many instant messages did you get on social media? Hey, Brian, are you camping this weekend? I don't know. I haven't checked. I had a few people cruise by. Huh. Do that. Well, it is a gorgeous truck, but. Anyways, talk about BJ's little screw up from the other day. See anything missing here? Him and Dad were trying to hook up the remote for the uh, power doors and power tarp on the other tra trailer. Trying to get to the battery. And apparently they broke this panel off. But apparently there's no quick, quick way into the battery compartment, which uh, that's pretty stupid in my opinion. Because we didn't have your adult supervision. Makes sense. What are we making? Well, this bracket ain't gonna fit, so we're going to make it fit. About the only place there is to put it right there. That's not the front bracket. Or is there not a front bracket? Whatever brackets you got. That. That's for the uh, front end. I, you tell me. Look at these instructions. They're pretty good. I don't even see any. Uh, any kind of instructions that ain't got pictures. I don't fit. There is. The one goes over top of the bump. Though. Okay, that bolts, probably bolts this, the front one, over top of it. Probably ain't right down there. Right now I'm dropping the air out of the suspension. We want the suspension to be as low as it can be so we can see where we can mount these half fenders. Hopefully this goes well. The directions are real clear. Who needs directions? Now that our suspension's aired down, see that's about as low as it can go. I guess it can go to that stop, so it's pretty close to as low as it can go. One other thing we are doing, we are trying to get a plug-in for our automatic tarp and doors. So BJ's doing some voltage testing. Which that's how he ended up tearing that, uh, that step off. We don't want that. No. Trying to, uh, which we're gonna try to use some of the electric they had hooked up for the um, the dump trailer that this truck used to pull. Um, the way it was set up was a little unique though. To get juice to that wire, you had to hold this switch or something like that. So we don't want that. Trying to see if we can reuse some of the stuff that's already installed though. Just one. Just one. No All right, little update. Since the last time I had the camera on, I made a discovery. This is one of the braces for the fenders. So when we dropped the air out, this was in the box, laying right about there. And it bent. That's not good. 
probably. Guest. The wiring harness. 16 inches. Here we go. Take measure up there. Yeah, let me. That worked fine. Right. Thank you. Guys. Okay. Yeah, right there. So that take. Also, measuring for an exhaust. That's the company we got the half fenders from. Uh, I'm trying to get some exhaust parts coming from them to uh, make this an upright. Impact this? We just got a torque strength of about what, a thousand, two thousand pounds. Taught me for. I mean, hold you were holding the bolt, weren't you? Yeah, I had a lot of torque strength in this finger. You were the one twisting it. That was pretty close, man. What do you think? Top bolt. If this thing looks good, it'll be a miracle. Now things start getting sketchy. No, there's no template. I hope. Oh, there was. Could be a left and a right. Really? The problem is. That's... Where'd the marker go? He just had it. It's straight, square, flat. Good enough. I think you're lined up good enough to, to the outside of okay. the wheel, but I... We're high. It looks like you need to drop the front end. Yes. Put a mark across there. What's the fender clearance look like in the front? Tire front. Up here. So we're not taping it on there, or we are taping it on there? Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. Got on there? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna walk up in it. I don't know if it's center punch or not. Come on, here. Why your radio? Draw, can't get it. Dad, come on, what happened to your mirror? Somebody backed out of the garage and they hit it, broke it. Huh. Yeah, we got to uh, try to mount this support under the fifth wheeler, so I got a pro up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, not yet. I don't know. 
I wonder if I can put my fingers. Yeah, if we get that open. All right, turn it. What do you think? I don't have the right one. We can get that over now. Yeah, it's the wrong size. That's what. 15 sixteenths. That's what this is. 15 sixteenths. That's not what these end ones are. 15 sixteenths. I know what it says. I'm telling you, this is a bigger size than this. Maybe an inch and a half. Inch and a sixteenth. Oh, oh. Let's go. I just think you just push back in there. Yeah. This boy sure do on her. Hopefully too. So. I always don't know what height to make these, do we? It's like it'd be a flat one. No. You think they're banking on it falling off. You're gonna see if you can find a big flat one. Those are bolts going to the top. Drill down and do that again, so. Let's turn around for a second. Yeah, there's no bolts or bolts. This side just shows this Correct. flap and three bolts. Do that. Well, I suppose such a flex. We did a flex go. Maybe they're right. I thought they were. That's pretty easy. I thought this stuff wrapped all the way around the bottom. Our back brace is right at the edge of this fender, and that's the only place we can get it in there. Perfect. Well, I don't think it's going to flex that much. To come out of there? Yeah. Okay. Two inches? It does something. That frame is pretty bad shape. Tighten it up just like that. In the real clear directions. That was sarcasm. It doesn't say anything about drilling holes in this to bolt this down, but it looks to us like it needs it. Airing it up. Is that going to be in the way of the fit wheel? Is that too high? Hey guys, we're not going to be able to finish this project until we get that brace that I showed was bent. So uh, that's it for this video for now. Um, hope you like what you've seen. Also, one thing before we go, uh, we are running a sale on farmfocus.com on some Brian's Farm videos and Brown Farms merch, so check that out if you're in the market for some hats or shirts. Uh, be sure to thumbs up the video, and we'll see you in the next one.